Can you guys hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> Welcome to the 6x RTX 3080 uh, mining rig build, guys. Going to be doing this live. Uh, can you guys hear me? Let me know, let me know. Testing, testing the sound first. Okay, beauty. Test is good, all right. Max voltage, you can hear you. Okay, beauty. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to not respond to the live chat because I can't really see it. So I am going to, just for people watching, I'm gonna do my due diligence and explain every single part uh, that I'm going to be installing, okay? So I'm gonna go through the whole process. Uh, you guys can see I already have the mining rig frame already, already up and also I, I installed the fans. And I'll just give you my reasoning. I did that because I just wanted to save time. All right, I wanted to get this all installed and up first before I you know, put in everything else because uh, making the frame and putting in the fans was definitely a long process. So, <laughs> but it's good. This is really good. This is the new AAA Wave, uh, the Sluice version two. This is their latest revision uh, 12 GPU mining frame, okay? And so this is good, this is good because I'm gonna be using these six RTX 3080s uh, for the Win 3 editions. Now with the 12 GPU frame, and I, I'm gonna be spacing out the GPUs, okay? So you can see I have uh, six different spots here with the screws where I'm gonna put the GPUs. So the good thing is, is that they're gonna be spread out and hopefully the temperatures will be cool. But we're gonna be testing this whole rig out in Windows. Okay, so I do have a uh, USB to install Windows and uh, we're gonna do that all in this stream. Hopefully I can do it very fast and, uh, but I'm gonna be very careful as I build this rig because you guys know this is extremely, extremely expensive. So I wanna be careful as I, uh, as I go through this, okay? So let's begin, let's begin. What do you guys, uh, let me think here. What should I, what should I start first? Uh, uh, okay, you guys are saying no Windows. Okay, I'll give you my reasoning why I'm doing Windows. It's just so I can use hardware info to see the memory temperatures, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just explaining to you guys the reasons why I'm doing Windows. The main thing is just so I can install the hardware info, all right? I, I need to see the memory, the junction temperatures for these cards. I will put it on Hive OS another time. But the main thing for me is just to see the uh, the memory temperatures because Hive OS doesn't have the memory junction temperature, okay? So, all right, so <laughs> you guys are just reaming me. No Windows, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just doing Windows because of hardware info for the software. Okay, uh, guys, let's go through. Um, should, I, should I explain all the parts I have or just get started building? What do, what do you guys wanna see? Should I just get started building? I think you guys know what parts I have already. All right, starting, okay, build. All right, building, okay. So I'm going to start with the, um, just let me see here. We're gonna start with the motherboard and processor and all that stuff. Uh, we're gonna be putting in the cards last because uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be putting the cards, yeah, we're gonna be putting the cards last because I need to get Windows installed first uh, before I do anything, okay. Let's do it. Let me put this down on the uh, tripod here so I have two hands to work. Okay. Oh my God. All right, is this gonna stay? All right, here we go. I'm sorry, I can't read, I can't read chat now, so. I can't see what you guys are saying. Uh, but we are going to start with the processor uh, motherboard, all that stuff. Here we go. Yashnik, Yashnik, I see you. Jump change, I see, I see you. All right, I can't read chat. Any, I can't, I can't see the chat anymore, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, processor. I'm gonna take out the uh, CPU cooler. And uh, this is a, just for people new, wanting to learn how to build, this is a G6400 processor. And we're gonna be coupling it with uh, Asus Prime Z490 
uh, P motherboard with 8 gigs of RAM and a 120 gig SSD. Okay, now let's take the motherboard out. Okay. Nice, this is very nice. Uh, I'm gonna put this in here. I need to get this out too. This is the SATA for the SSD. Okay, now we can put this on top. All right, can you guys can you guys see that? Just making sure here. Uh, all right, okay. You know what? I'm gonna get you guys higher. Hold on one sec. Okay. All right, so we're gonna be installing the processor first. Uh, so we're gonna unlatch this part, go like that. And we're gonna, I'm gonna get this up. Processor. Now we're gonna line up the uh, pins here, which is uh, there and there. Oops, so I have it the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Just like so. Okay, nice and snug. I always give it a little bit of move around there. Okay, all right, just close it. And boom, that'll pop off automatically. Uh, CPU cover. Look at that. In search. Can you guys see that? In search of the incredible. That's, that's funny. Okay, I don't know what you guys are saying about me right now, but I'm sure it's not good. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to put in is the CPU cooler. So let's do that. I, I don't know what you guys are saying. I would love to read chat, but I can't see right now. I cannot see what you guys are saying. Okay, all right, here we go. So the CPU plug for power is right here. I'm gonna plug that in first. And luckily with these kind of CPU coolers, they're really easy to put in. So uh, what, I, what I do normally, yeah, I just put it on top, just make sure it's lined up. I always lift up the motherboard and I always put in one side first. So you gotta make sure you do it diagonally. So we're gonna put in this side. You just have to push in, that's it. Just push in, uh, hold the bottom with your other four fingers. Use your thumb to push in the first pin. All right, now we're gonna do the other side here diagonally. Push that in, okay? Now we're gonna do the other side, other two. Push this one in and then push this one in, all right? And there we go, just make sure, verify it's all good. There we go. Really easy, the <laughs> CPU Intel coolers are, are, are pretty easy to install. Okay, um, next part uh what are we gonna do a thermal paste is already pre the thermal paste is pre-applied already thermal paste is pre-applied yeah it's it's already it's already pre-applied don't worry uh thank you for the donation if i if you guys are donating i can't see the donation so my phone is extremely small okay next one guys next one is we're gonna put in the ram the ram is the next thing Okay, so we have uh, eight gigabytes of uh, uh, Patriot memory, two sixty six six megahertz. All right, that's simply um, so. Some motherboards they don't like it in the first slot. If you have a single channel memory, it you will you might get an error uh, once you boot up the machine. It doesn't like it on the first slot. So, uh, from my experience, most most motherboards like it on the third the third slot if you have single channel memory all right um so put it in the third slot here uh the black one the third one yeah and then uh make sure it's lined up and uh, you'll see you will see this middle pin here uh the links that you can make sure you have it in the right orientation all right and then we're gonna push it in i guess i lift up the motherboard i use two hands all right there we go you you the reason why I put my fingers underneath the motherboard is just to give it leverage and so I don't snap anything, right? Uh, I mean, we snap the memory in, but just to, just to give, it good, give it good contact, good strength in, all right? Okay, that's it. <laughs> we did the first part, that was easy. Now, we want to put in the motherboard into, okay, hold on, I need to clean up here. I need to move all this stuff out of the way. 
Let's just shove it on the floor. Okay, next part. The next part we're gonna do, we're gonna put the motherboard onto the AAA Wave mining frame, okay? Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so I already, like I said, I pre-made the frame already because I didn't want to do it live as I didn't want to waste any time. And uh, it's pretty easy to make mining frames. You guys, the instructions are, of course, uh, they come with instructions and whatnot. Okay, so we're just, we're just going to line up the motherboard onto the motherboard standoffs. All right, pretty easy. And there we go. That's it. Now, I was going to do... I was gonna do cardboard, all right? I was gonna put the original motherboard box uh, underneath, but I trust AAA Wave and I trust the Asus Prime motherboard that this won't um, uh, uh, short circuit. So, okay, all right, here we go. Now I need I need my iFixit kit and Space Goat's iFixit kit is not here. Ugh. Hold on, hold on. All right, we're gonna. I have my I have my other iFixit kit. Uh, guys, wow, there's almost 800 people watching. Please hit that like button. Hit that like button. Appreciate you all. Okay. Um, I'm going to. I need this screw bit here. Nope, that's too small. Uh, wow, where are my where are my bits? I'm missing all of my big bits. Is this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. So, oh, wow, 300 likes. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you all. All right, we're going to put in the screws now. Uh, we just need to put in six little screws here. Oh, that's... Is this the wrong screw? I think I have the wrong screw. Uh, is it this one? Did I, did I get the right one? No, nope, that's not the right one. It's definitely this one. The smaller ones, all right? Not, not, not this, not this big one. We're going to be, we're going to be putting, we're going to be putting this one, all right? This screw. This, this one's too big. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not responding to the chat, I cannot respond right now. I'm, I, I, I can't, I get, uh, the screen is too small. I can't even read what's going on, what you guys are saying, so. And I can't do that while at the same time. And I'm trying to do this build. Uh, so if new people are coming in and wanting to learn how to build a mining rig, I want to keep uh, less talk as possible. But uh, right now I'm just putting in the motherboard. Uh, pretty typical for... A lot of, uh, pretty typical for a lot of mining motherboards, uh, mining rigs. Um, similar, similar. All right, hold on, let me get this. Uh, let me get this over here, you guys can see. Uh, all right, talk about why you choose all different hardware. Um, yeah, so it really depends on availability right now. Um, you know, getting, getting certain mining motherboards or getting, uh, uh, get, you know, uh, the certain CPUs and RAM and stuff, it's obviously really hard to get right now, right? So honestly, <laughs> for people building mining rigs right now, it sucks because it's, it's really expensive and uh, availability of different types of motherboards and processors are, are gone, right? Um, but the general idea, the general idea of installing this stuff, it, it applies to generally all mining mining rigs like this all gpu mining rigs okay so yeah it's the general idea applies uh what i'm showing here um <sighs> okay now uh two more screws guys i'm sorry two more screws and then we will do the next part um I can read the chat now, now that I'm looking at my phone. What, what should I, what's the next part, guys? I think the next part I think we're going to do is the power supply. Uh, power supplies. Sorry, we're going we're gonna to install two power supplies. Um, okay, I'm just putting in the last screw. Hard to do this over my phone.
Okay. All right. I did not forget to lock the cooler. It's already locked in place. The the Intel coolers are are you just need to snap it in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on people, you need to learn how to make you know you need to learn how to install CPU coolers. It's already locked. It's already locked in place. Okay. Um next part. Next part, guys. Uh let's see. Uh hold on, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. <sighs> okay. Um all right, let me just think here. We got the motherboard in, CPU, RAM is in. Uh, now, now we need to, uh, just let me think here. I wanna make sure I do this very methodically here. All right, we're gonna be doing the power supplies, okay? Um, let's do it. Yeah, we need to do the hard drive. Yeah, we'll do the hard drive last. That'll be, that'll be really easy. Um, because we need the, we need to have the SATA connectors for uh, the power supply. So uh, let me let me explain how I'm going to do the power supply situation, um, just so some people understand what I'm doing. Because uh, a lot of people like to understand how I do uh, power supplies on the mining rig. So you guys know I have uh, six uh, RTX 3080s, and these are the For the Win three editions. Uh, so the TDP on these they say tw they say 320 watts on the website. But actually, the TDP with the, you know, they have a different BIOS on them. Um, they go up to 450 watts, okay? So potentially, if you were to mine, if you were to have the, if you were to have the stock clocks, it would mine at 450 watts, okay? So this 1300 watt, this is a 1300 watt uh, Seasonic Platinum power supply. Uh, so <laughs> I'm only, I am only going to put uh, three RTX 3080s on this power supply, and I'm and I'm gonna do two uh, two PCIe strands per 3080. And I did verify that the strands uh, these are 16 gauge. These are really nice uh, shield wrapped, um, not shield wrapped. What do you call it? Uh, shrink wrapped, uh, 16 gauge, and um, these will be able to handle 300 watts, if not more. Okay, per strand. And like I said, I will be doing two strands, two PCIe strands per 3080, all right? Per EVGA 3080, all right? So hopefully that makes sense, all right? Um, okay, all right, so now I need to put in the power supply. All right, let's do it. So let me bring you guys over here. All righty, okay. All right, I can't see the chat, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm not responding. I can't see, I can't read anything. Okay, uh, I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm bring the power supply here. I'm gonna put in the cables first before I put in the power supply. And you know what, before I do anything, I wanna make sure, I wanna test fit, I wanna test fit the power supply. I just wanna make sure it fits in here. Okay, so we're gonna go, how can I do this? Nope. I go this way, nope. I gotta go the other way. Okay, we're gonna go all the way in the back and slide it in. Nope, that, wow, I can't even slide, oh, this bar is in the way. Okay, how about this? All right, there we go. Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be hard. Okay, okay, one sec. All right, so yeah, it lines up lines up to the power supply uh, uh, where to screw it in, so that's good. Um, you know what? I am going to, I'm gonna put the cables in last. So, because it's already so hard to put in the power supply. And uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so. Uh, all right, first thing, we are going to put in the screws first. We're going to screw this thing in first. Okay, screw this guy in. And I can't believe there's this many people watching. How could there be 1,000 people watching? 400 likes, holy. Guys, <laughs> so that means a lot of guys, a lot of you want to see mining rig builds. That's interesting. That is interesting. 
That is interesting. Um, okay, putting in the last screw. This one will, I can only put in three screws. Oh, this one's not even. I can only put in two screws. All right, well, that's it. I'm only putting these two. Uh, the top one, it's not even, uh, I can't even do it. There's no hole. The hole is over here. Uh, just to show you guys. Uh, there's no hole in this part, but the hole for it is right here. And so there's no way for me to screw it in. Uh, so I can only put in those two. All right, well, that's it. <laughs> okay, um, now let me put in the other power supply. Actually, I have to uh, unbuckle it from the box. Oh, hold on. Alright, so, oh, this knife is extremely, extremely sharp. Okay. This is a really nice power supply. I hope, I hope this whole rig works after we build it. Oh man, there's definitely going to be something, there's going to be something wrong for sure. There's, there always is, there's always an issue. Okay. Moving you guys over. Alrighty. Um, so for this one, I'm going to put it, uh, let's see here, this way. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I gotta make sure it's lined up here. Uh, is that on? Okay, just turn in the other power supply. Alright, that's in. Alright, now I, uh, where is this one? This one is up here. Okay, and is there a hole on the bottom one? Nope, that hole is right there and there's, yeah, there's no hole on this side here. So I can only do two screws on this side. Uh, one there, one there. Okay. All right. Um, uh, let me just give it a little bit more. All right. Okay. Um, let me bring this out. Put this box away. I have so many boxes behind me, it's not even funny. Okay. All right. The next, the next thing, the next thing I need to put in is, um, yeah, you guys want to see what it looks like so far? And I got, you guys got to remind me, I got to put my, uh, I got to plug in my phone or else uh, the live stream's going to, okay. So let's just see what we got so far. All right. Look at that. It looks like that so far. So I really hope, I really hope the PCIe cables will reach up to the top. That is an issue I'm thinking we might have. Um, man, you know what? Let's try that right now. That is a good, that is a good, oh yeah, that'll, that'll work. Yeah, that'll. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely, that'll definitely make it. That'll for sure, for sure, for sure make it. Okay, all right. Um, all right, <laughs> you will never make your money back. <laughs> Light Gorm, you have no idea. Oh man, I wish I could, I wish I could say, <laughs> oh man, you have no idea, man. <laughs> I 
to be okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk that right now. I'm gonna de- I'm gonna debunk that right now. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I've been, just to let you guys know, I've been mining for the past four years. All right, I've been I've been mining I've been mining for the past four years. Uh, you guys know like how many GPUs I have and all that stuff. <laughs> trust me, trust me. These cards these cards are already paid off already. They're, all of this, all of this you see, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to give you the realistic situation here on the strategy of hodling. <laughs> so when you mine and hodl over the past bear markets, it's like, <laughs> like I'm not even, I'm, I, I can't even, I can't even comprehend right now that, uh, I don't even know how to answer that question because it's just, it's, it's just amazing right now. <laughs> I'm not even going to show you the, 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 the amount of the ROI or the break even. It's already been, it's already been, it's already been paid off. So, <laughs> but for, P, for the reasons why I'm doing it in a way, all right, I'm doing it in a way that, you know, once we get this rig built, um, we're going to see, you know, how much theoretically uh, $7,400, you know, worth USD. We're going to see for people that are going to be building one of these things now, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, you know, how long it takes for them to get their money back. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. I mean, we're just gonna see how much this thing, this rig, will mine over the next, you know, four, five, six, one year, right? I'm, I'm just giving you guys the realistic situation here. I've, I've explained it before. Veterans who've been in the space now mining. I'm not a veteran. I'm, I'm a noob. Like, I'm a total. I'm just, I'm just a home miner. All right. I'm not a big. GPU miner. I mean, okay, some say I am, but there are bigger GPU miners out there. I'm just, I'm small fry. But the aspect of mining uh, for the past four years, it's uh, blows my mind. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, okay. I've lost my train of thought because someone decided. Someone decided to. Uh, Take me off course here. All right, so what is the next step, guys? We are going to be putting in the uh, PCIe cables. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, haters going to hate, man. Haters are going to hate. I, I, <laughs> I could care less. I could care less. I've, oh, man. People just, people just don't understand. They just don't understand. And for the people who've been mining for the past couple of years, you guys know exactly what's going on. I don't even I don't even have to explain how I paid for this rig. I don't even have to explain. You, it's just you guys, guys. It's hilarious. Tater's gonna hate, man. It's amazing. All right, guys. Next step is I got both power supplies in. I got the motherboard in. I am now going to be plugging in all the PCIe cables, all the cables required uh, for the motherboard as well. And we're going to be utilizing the 24 pin uh, splitter adapter, all right? So all this does is lets, lets the other power supply know to come on when you turn on the uh, motherboard and everything, okay? Um, so that's it, that's it. Um, so let me just, I'm just going to get all the required cables plugged into the power supply first. And then I will plug in all the uh, uh, the motherboard stuff. All right. I just want to do all this so I get the get it out of the way. And I can't even see. Okay. Two strands per thirty eighty. Two strands per thirty eighty. Okay. Someone just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. I can't see who subscribed, but thank you. I saw a green thing earlier. Plug in your phone, Panda. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Plugging it in right now. 
Thank you for the donation at the same time. Thank you so, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to. I'm sorry you had to donate in order to tell me. Oh man, that's funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put in now. All right. Uh, let me let me just think here. How do I? Yeah, I'm gonna put the motherboard processor on this side, this side here. Yeah, okay. So the other CPU one goes over here. All right. And uh, so now we can actually plug in the CPU into the motherboard right now. So um, I'm gonna put that in right now. I'm sorry if I'm not reading the chat. I can't see the chat right now. Okay. All right, motherboard, uh, the CPU cable's in. Now, let's do the big 24 pin. Uh, we're gonna have to do the other side as well. A nice bicep. <laughs> I don't have any biceps, okay? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna bring you guys in. Okay. Um Alrighty. Uh let's see here. Now the C the P24 pin goes over here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Motherboard one is in. That was actually really hard to get in. Okay, now, uh, now we need to. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in this. Uh, we're gonna plug in the, uh, hold on. All right, so um, we're gonna plug in the 24 pin adapter. All right, so this end um, is gonna go into the motherboard, all right? Uh, and then these two ends, these two ends are the ones that go into the power supplies, okay? So we're gonna do the main one, which is this one, because I have the CPU plugged in already on that same power supply. Okay, uh, this thing's not going in. There we go. Okay, now we need to plug in all, all the uh, PCIe, uh, but actually we can plug in this into the motherboard right now. We can do, we can do the cable management later, uh, but for now we can plug this into uh, the motherboard. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, Max Camacho, thank you for the donation. Would standoffs and washers keep motherboard from shorting? Uh, potentially. I've had I've had a motherboard short before on my Veta frame. I had a MSI B sixty F. I trust that Asus motherboards have good grounding already. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I've, had, I've had issues with an MSI board uh, with, the, uh, with the VETA frame, okay? I know some of these frames are metal, right? So when you're, you know, potentially, if the motherboard doesn't have good short protection, it will, it will short, okay? So especially if you're working on carpet, that's also another... That's also another uh, bad thing, okay? Okay. Um, all right, so uh, just let me verify here. Uh, I need to plug in the SATA. All right, we need to plug in the SATA. Oh, actually, I just realized, yeah, we have uh, the fan controller for all the fans requires uh, SATA as well. Okay, so I need to plug in a SATA cable for the, uh, for the hard drive. Okay. 
We're just going to use one cable for the fan controller and the SSD. Thank you. Thank you, Yashnik. Thank you, Bitcoin Jake, for modding. Thank you, Mods, Techman. Thank you. I understand there's a lot of trolls right now. Um, so, all right, you know what? You know what? We're just going to plug in the uh, SSD right now. So this is how I'm going to... This is how I'm going to do it. Uh, like so. Uh, we will do, uh, let me see if I should do cable management here. Do cable management at the same time just to keep things clean. Um, yeah, let's, let's do cable management. Uh, yeah, you know what, we're going to put, actually no, not yet. We're going to do cable management last. Cable management will be last. I will be mindful of the stuff that I plug in. Okay. Yes, I ordered, I have, I have two Zotac 3060s on the way. So we're working on the second power supply. Um, so, oh, I opened the wrong one. Um, we actually don't need that other one. Okay, so for this, okay, let me explain. Uh, for new people trying to understand how we do power supplies. Okay, so the first power supply that goes, you know, into the main 24 pin junction here, and uh, we have the, tw uh, the CPU also going into the motherboard and the SATA. The second power supply here, we only need a 24 pin and a and the six pins. All right, 24 pin and the six pin. We don't need the eight pin CPU. We don't need anything else unless you want to add SATA. Actually, we might add SATA on this side uh, just for the uh, other uh, fan controller on this side. Okay, so that's it. That's all we're going to be plugging in on this power supply. And thank you, Rondi. Who who donated, Rondi? You are crazy, man. You are crazy. Thank you for the donation. All right. You're crazy, man. Crazy. All right. Let's uh, let's plug this in. So we just need the six PCIe and the 24 pins. Um, this is the CPU. We don't need that. Here's another CPU. We don't need that cable. And these are going to be the six PCIe cables. Yeah, we need all these. Uh, sorry guys, if I'm not, if I missed a donation or a super chat or, uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have a second screen, so I can't really read what's going on. Um, chump change, ah, oh, you bastard, chump change, you are crazy, man. Ah, oh, jeez, chump change, just nuts, just nuts, all right, I'm just taking off all these, uh, uh, AZ Big, thank you for the five. Starting my first rig build. Is this the GTX 1660? Yeah, of course. 1660 is awesome, man. 1660 is good for your first uh, first GPU. There's so many people here. Guys, hit that like button. I want to see how many... <laughs> You guys are crazy. Thanks for being here. I know this. I, I know this is a really slow rig build, uh, but I'm doing it in a way that hopefully newcomers can understand uh, the, my thought process here. And uh, it, it takes time. You want to make sure you do this rig build. You your rig builds right because if you try to go through it really fast, uh, you have the chance of burning, shorting, uh, breaking something. Okay. So we're gonna make sure we do this methodically. When you when you build your mining rigs, okay, crypto shaped. What's up, man? All right, so I'm gonna plug in the 24 pin first. Let's bring you guys down here. Ah, uh, B Tech. B Tech, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Okay. 
All right, where does this go? All right, this goes over here. Okay, 24 pins in. Now, we are gonna put the 24 pin into the, uh, the, the adapter, okay? So that's gonna go uh, like so, like this, all right? There's a little clip, there's a little clip here that matches the other clip right here, okay? All right, that's it. Okay, you know what? I can probably do some cable managing now. Uh, hold on one sec. Uh, I need, um, one sec, I need some, I need some zap shots. Look at my stack, my stack is zap straps, Velcro straps. Okay, um, okay, uh, can I just do, can I just do that? Yeah, that's that's good. I don't I don't really care about cable managing that great. I think this is the best. Uh, this is the best I can do. That's all I. Good for now. I don't really. This is just a twenty four pin. Okay, uh, I think I can put another one. Uh, let's do the other one over here. Why not? Why not? Okay. All right, there we go. 24 pin is good on both power supplies. Uh, we are good on that side and now we are good on this side. Okay, now time to put in all of the other uh, PCIe cables here. I think I just missed the donation. Thank you for the donation. I don't see your question, but if someone in the live chat can help that gentleman, it would be much appreciated. Okay, Rondi, what are you, what are you guys doing? What are you guys going back and forth with here? Please, no more. Okay, um, six pin. We're plugging in all the six pins now. Oh, I forgot to explain. Um, every, every six pin here has uh, dual eight pins, okay? Uh, two eight pins for each strand. Uh, but for one of the strands, we're going to be splitting it off with a splitter because uh, the riser and the GPU is too far from each other. Holy crap, who just donated? Space Goats, what are you doing, Space Goats? What are you? <laughs> Space Goats, you know I have to pay you. I have to pay you, you know. <laughs> what, are you, what is Space Goats doing? Who donated after that? You, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Stop. Jeez. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Seriously. Let me let me build. Let me build this mining rig in peace, okay? You know what? I'm <laughs> I'm about to close this live stream. Uh, Jesus, you guys are nuts. All right, guys, I'm not reading the live chat, so if you donated, I'm sorry, I'm not re I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, all right. Bring you guys up here, bring you guys up here, okay. Whew, explaining what I did. Oh, I forgot to plug in a SATA. I need to plug in a SATA for the fan controller on this side. Um, but you guys can see I have all the PCIe cables installed. Uh, the 24 pin is good. Uh, 24 pin CPU and the other six PCIe are there. Okay. 
All right, uh, just for people tuning in, we have two 1300 watt power supplies, okay? All right, just putting you guys back here. I just need to plug in another SATA, uh, SATA cable here. Okay. All right, this is going, I can't even reach it. I can't even reach it way down here. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna plug in the fan controller now. Uh, okay, fan controller is plugged in. I forgot to plug in the other fan controller, so let's do that now. Okay. Okay, all right, I have all of the, I have all the respective cables needed in. I have the SSD in, actually no, I don't have the SSD in yet. Um, I need to plug in the uh, SATA cable. I need to plug in the SATA cable, totally forgot about this. Um, there we go. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Oh, my thing is stuck in there. All right. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have it hang loose for now. We'll worry about where the orientation of the SSD is gonna be later on. I'm not too worried about it. I usually just have it. I just usually have the SSD hang loose. Um, plus, if I need to, you know, uh, mod it with Hive OS, it will take a bit. Okay. Um, Okay, guys, what's next? What's next? I think it's time. I think it's time. We can do the GPUs now. We can, we can, we can do the GPUs. All right, so uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, turn on and install the OS. Yes, max voltage. You are right. Oh, my God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I, I remember thinking about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is why... This is why max voltage is here. Uh, okay. All right. All right, max voltage. So, uh, what I'm gonna do now? Uh, yeah, we want to make sure we want to make sure this board turns on. Uh, so before we plug in GPUs or anything, we want to make sure it just works. All right. Uh, all the system all the main system components first. Okay. So, got my trusty little, tiny little uh, thing here. Plus we have to set all the BIOS, the BIOS settings. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I need, I have my ethernet cable. Ugh. Whoa, I need a mouse and keyboard. Or just a keyboard, I think I can do everything with the... Actually, I'll get a mouse, I'll be right back. I don't need the mouse actually, forget it. And uh, I got my Windows 10 USB right here. And again, people tuning in, the reasons why we're using Windows, just temporary, we're using Windows so that we can see the memory temperatures on the RTX 3080s, okay? We have to use, uh, we have to use the hardware info software uh, on Windows. Okay, uh, I have to plug in the power cables, all right? So let me get some long C13 to C14 cables. Should 
Okay, uh, I gotta make sure these are off first. All right, they're off. Oh, we forgot to plug in the power cable. This guy right here. Oh, this is not even. Uh, AAA Wave also came with one of these guys. Look at this. Little, uh, little power thing here. And that's going to go into, I don't even, okay, I have to go way over there. One sec, guys, one sec. Okay. Alrighty. Power cable's in. Our power button is in, sorry. Okay. All right, so let's verify, make sure everything's all in. The RAM is in, SSD power is in, um, the fans are also plugged in by SATA. Okay, uh, I, think, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's turn it on. So I'm gonna plug, turn on the, each power supply here. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Uh, where is the, all right. All right, you guys ready to see some smoke? You guys ready to see some smoke? Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Oh man, I love it. I love this. I love this. Okay. All right. Again. Oh, it looked like it turned up. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Why is it on? Wait, the fan's not on. Oh, that's the ambient lighting. That's the ambient lighting. That's the ambient lighting. Okay. Oh man. This is great. This is great. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Now, finally, finally, we're going to turn it on. Smoke time, here we go. Here we go, three, two, one. Wait, why is this side green and that side blue? That's weird. Um, okay, anything coming on the screen? Yeah, Asus, okay, we gotta go in the BIOS. Ah, uh, delete. Uh, F1 to set up. Okay, it works. It's it's working. I don't. Is there any smoke though? Uh, there's a lot of airflow coming back here, so that's good. That's good. Okay, I see smoke. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, let's see. Let's just uh, verify. There's nothing. I don't smell. I don't smell anything. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. Nothing's blown up, but. There's one thing I do want to figure out is the lighting here. Uh, I think there's, does this, does this change the lighting? It does. Okay, this little button here changes the lighting. That is sick. I need, uh, I need red. Is that red? Oh, that is, that's pretty cool. These are uphill, up, up here, uh, RGB fans. Interesting. All right, that's good. Oh, someone just donated earlier. I missed your question. Uh, I have not fixed the MSI Trio yet. I'm sorry. Uh, Golden Wolf, thank you for the donation. Thank you for the donation. 
Okay, um, guys, I need to figure out the BIOS settings. We need to enable the 4G decoding um, and all that stuff, okay? So let me just, uh, I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We need to go F1, so. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, can you guys can you guys see the screen or it's okay all right I'm just gonna I just need to see 4g decoding you guys have seen that multiple times um, okay so we're gonna go to advanced settings oh uh, you know what I really need I really need the mouse I really need the mouse Okay, so we're gonna disable the HD audio. We're gonna disable. We're gonna disable a lot of stuff uh, as we we really don't we really don't need it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna bring you guys up here. You guys can look at the fans. Let me know what you think of the RGB fans. I need to look at really close here. Oh man, this has a lot of settings. This, this, this board has a lot of different settings. Um, I don't. Where's the 4G decoding on here? Above 4G decoding is enabled by default. Oh wow! All right. Well, I don't need to do anything there. That's good. Um, primary display will be the, uh, will be PEG, I think. Is, is PEG on board? Yeah, PEG is on board. Okay, um, uh, show bio, okay, you guys can't see it, because I can't see it either, the BIOS is really... Okay, you guys wanna see it? All right, there. Uh, it's really small, it's really small. This screen is so small. Um, PCH configure, PCI Express configuration, Gen 1, there we go. I'm gonna do Gen 1, yeah. Let's just see what that does. Uh, SATA's good. Uh, where is the uh, let's see here onboard device configuration yeah here we go HD audio let's disable that disabled um, LED lighting. Okay, yeah, we're gonna turn off the uh, we're gonna turn off the LED lighting. We don't need that. We need the LAN controller. Uh, we don't need the Bluetooth. Bluetooth will be disabled. Okay, that's it. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, you guys can see the 4G decoding is right there. Okay. Um, so that is good. Uh, so 4G decoding... So the, really the only thing I did was I, uh, 4G decoding is enabled. Uh, PCIe Gen 1. We might try Gen 2 later. Um, but like I said, we're going to be testing it out with Windows. Just temporary. Uh, just so we can see the thermal temperatures of the... Uh, uh, the memory temperatures on the 3080s. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna save. Uh, save changes and uh, 
Okay, and there we go. It's gonna restart. Okay, yeah, both power supplies are on, which is good. Okay, it's rebooting, it's rebooting. My phone thing is coming off. One sec. All right. Um, oh, it's booting in the hive. Oh no. Oh no, we're not booting in the hive. We need to boot in the windows. Ah, crap. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, okay, I need the, we need to boot off the USB, so, uh, we need to go to, uh, we need to go to, uh, oh, come on, really? Really? We need to change, we need to change the boot order, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just, I need to boot in the Hive OS here, uh, into the BIOS again. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I unplugged the SSD. Uh, I just, I just need to get in the BIOS first. Why is it not coming up? Yeah, fast boot. Yeah, fast boot is enabled. That's why. Okay, there we go. Um, but I can't plug in the SSD now. <laughs> I wanted to go in the BIOS. One sec. Uh, this is great. This is really great. Why isn't my keyboard working? Seriously, my keyboard is not working. We're using Windows because we're doing high uh, We're doing uh, hardware info to get the memory junction temperature. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, now we can click on the uh, boot mode. Walid and Al Nima, thank you for the sub. All right, we're we're going in Windows. Here we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, the re the reason why is this this keyboard that I have is a sixty percent, so I have to press the F N the function key in order to hit F two, which is really stupid. It this is a small small keyboard. Okay, guys, we're installing Windows. We're good, we're good. Um, like I said, for people just tuning in, we're doing Windows just because we can see the memory junction temperature in hardware info. That's, that's the only reason why I'm doing Windows. For now, for now. Um, just temporary, it's just temporary. I need to make sure these GPUs are memory, the memory junction temperature is, is good. Because we cannot, we cannot see it in Hive OS. Okay. Windows is installing. 
Okay, and I just realized I haven't had my, uh, I haven't had my, oh, my cable plugged in. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, this uh, installing Windows won't take long. Um, so once that's done, the next step is we're gonna install the 3080s. Okay. Um, and we're just probably just gonna do all of them at the same time. We're n I'm not gonna do one by one. And uh, you guys can see we have six PCIe slots. All right, so the perfect amount for six 3080s. And uh, we are gonna spread, the 3080s will be spread out. So three are gonna be on the top row and another three will be on the second row. All right, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Uh, what brand are the 3080s? These are the EVGA For The Win 3 editions. Okay. Okay, we gotta take off the plastic as well. So we can do that now while Windows installs. I'll try to do this with one hand. Oh my God, these are really, oh my God, these are so nice. Oh, oh, Jesus. So nice and so expensive. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a plastic thing on here, but I can't take that out. This thing's freaking massive. Three eight pins. Okay. Uh, why not offset the top row from the bottom row? Max voltage. Uh, what do you mean by that, Max? Max, what do you mean? Oh, oh, oh you mean you mean uh, put the uh, okay? So, so the top row will have uh, three here, and then you're talking about putting another three on this, on these ones here. That's a good idea. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Stagger, I can stagger it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, the heat, the heat uh, essentially, well, my, my thought process, my, my thought process is um, having three in a vertical line because the airflow, I wanted the airflow to go through, through the cards in, a, in the lines, but I, I don't know. Let, let me know there. While Windows is Windows is oh Windows is done. Um, stagger them. Okay. All right. I'll stagger it. I'll stagger it. I'll stagger it. Let's do it. I'm gonna move these. Uh, I'm gonna move it. Oh, I just lost the screw. Never mind. I'm gonna go over here then. I see your point. Yeah, Max. I I don't know, man. Yeah, honestly, I. I, I, yeah, I'm not quite sure what better, what way is going to be good, but you know what? I can test it for sure. That's, that's a good test. I, I, uh, the main thing is, I guess what I can do first is put the bottom row, uh, like so. Okay. I can put the bottom row like this and then the top row I can easily change, um, stagger. Cause once I put the bottom row in the second row in already, it's going to be really hard to. Uh, it's going to be really hard to change the the second row, so I'm gonna I can stagger the top row uh, if I wanted. So I, we can do that test later. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, Windows is almost done there. Uh, let me just um, let's take off all the plastic on these guys. Mining chamber, I see you. I see. You. Why not just keep it running on Windows? Um, I prefer to keep it on Hive OS because of the overvolt, the uh, uh, under, uh, sorry, overclocks and undervolts. Um, I don't want these to reset back to stock clocks. I don't want them to run. Um, I don't run. I don't want these to run at stock 450 watts. That will be ri ri ridiculous. Like it'll be insane. Um, Windows is notorious, uh, especially MSI Afterburner. MSI Afterburner is notorious for um, going back to stock clocks, so it's best I keep it's best I keep this rig on Hive OS in the future. But like I said, we're gonna test it out in Windows first, just so we can see the junction, the memory junction temperatures, uh, be because I'm worried that these might be they, these might be hot, right? Okay, okay. Uh one, two, three. Oh my God. If I drop this, it'll be the end of me. Oh, someone, somebody keep track of the power consumption. So, uh, space goats, tech man, somebody write this down. Five, 3,540, uh, 
3,535 watts. Okay, Techman, Techman, somebody write that down. We're gonna we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to that. Uh, just so you guys know, that's how much is running for all of these GPUs uh, right here. Okay. Um, oh, let's do that. The other plastics here. Stock BIOS is 370 watts. Um, I, I verified there is another BIOS on it. It has 450 watt, 450 watt TDP. So I, I, I'm just playing it safe. I'm playing it safe. I don't, I just don't want these cards to run at 450 watts. That would be insane. There is a, there are, there are, these, these are dual BIOS as well. Um, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to test out each, uh, uh, each BIOS um, as well. Okay. All right. All right. The 338, the 6380s are no more plastic on them. All right, so let's do this. Uh, what region are you in? Yeah, the United States of America. Our Earth, yeah. Uh, guys, the, <laughs> installing Windows sucks. I hate it. I hate it so much. Hey, there's nothing wrong with socks and sandals, okay? What's, there's nothing, nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, set up for personal use, okay, hit next. Okay, all right, someone's asking the question again. Why am I using Windows? Again, we're, I'm using Windows because of hardware info, just so we can see the memory junction temperature of these cards. That's it. That's it. Uh, user, I don't care. Enter password, no password. Just, just go in. Oh my God, I hate Windows. All right. Um, I used to love Windows, not anymore. Oh, man, let's just do admin. I don't need a password. Yeah, okay, there we go. Ah, turn off all this privacy stuff. I don't need location. I don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that, just uncheck it all. Um, not now, don't need Cortana. Okay, there we go. Wow, there's 1,300 of you here. That is nuts. Uh, Sergio Espinel, we will do HiveOS later. Uh, in another, I will do that in another video. Yashnik, remove all the plastic. I did, Yashnik, I did, I did. I already removed the front plastic as well. Okay, so um, all the IO, all the IO came with plastic as well. I already took those off. Okay, all right, all right. Here's the Panda Flick, Panda Flick. There you go. All right. <laughs> I hope this works. I hope. Oh, guys, you guys can help me. You guys can help me decide. Um, all right. Are we gonna be doing? Are we gonna be doing GPRisers.com risers, or are we gonna be doing AAA Wave risers? What do you guys want me to do? What, what do you guys want me to do?
Oh, I just dropped that. Oh man, that's damaged. Look at this. AAA Wave has red, has red red style risers, and then uh, GP Risers has uh, the black style. Uh, let me open it. Let me open it up here. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Here's the GP risers. I feel like I like the black capacitors on these uh, AAA wave ones as they seem a little bit more in there, but uh, the GP risers one are notice notably good. I haven't had any issues with these, so. Um, okay, uh, let's see, what are, you guys, what are you guys saying right now? The chat is moving so fast. GP risers have the clips. Yeah, I like these. I like these clips. These clips are nice. All right, I think most of you guys want me to do the GPRisers.com. So, all right, I'm gonna do the GP risers. Uh, risers, the AAA Wave risers will come another day. Uh, all right, so uh, we will start with one of these first onto the rig. Okay, so Windows is installed. Let me just get you guys over here. Okay, we're just gonna do a few, we gotta do a few housekeeping things here. So, um, I always I always just do a Windows update before I do anything else, all right? So we're just gonna go Windows update and uh, just go, just update the whole damn rig. I always do browse other Microsoft products, go back, uh, hit update, check for updates, and uh, let that go. Okay, and we're gonna have to enable. We're gonna we can do it now as well. We're gonna go to the virtual memory. Um, we're gonna add the virtual memory. So we have to go to system, advanced system settings, uh, performance, advanced, change. We gotta add more virtual uh, memory here. So we're gonna do. I think I think sixty thousand is good enough. I think let's do sixty thousand. Set. Okay, and I can't even press okay because it's too small. Oh my goodness. Uh, can I just press okay here? Really? Hold on. There we go. Let me just verify. Yeah, 60,000. Okay. Okay, good. All right, let this, let this Windows update first and uh, we will restart. Uh, why do you need the virtual memory? You need the virtual memory because of the, uh, the DAG size. Uh, some soft, the software for mining, it requires more, more space. So, um, all right, people are asking, why am I using Windows? Oh, guys, for the last time, I, I know there's people tuning in every now and then, but this is the last time I'm going to say it. The reasons why I am using Windows is because we're going to be using hardware info. It's a software that we are going to figure out uh, to find out the memory junction temperature. Okay. Windows is the only one that can figure out the memory junction temperature for the 3080s. Okay. That is it. Crypto shaped, I am banning. All right, ban crypto shaped. Here we go. Ban that guy right now. <laughs> crypto shaped. Oh man. Okay, this is done. All right, gonna restart. Okay. Um, Yashnik, remove the plastic on the fans. What? 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 There's plastic on the fan. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ah. Uh, wow. That's that's horrible. Oh my god. Is that? Oh man. I don't. I, I do not want to do this on all of them. Dude. 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 I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah. I'm Yashnik. I don't think it matters. I don't, 
I'll take it off later. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. All right, the main thing is here is Windows. I just want to make sure, uh, okay, Windows is going to be done after this. Okay, um, so after it reboots one more time, we're going to turn it off. We're going to install, um, no, we're going to download the NVIDIA drivers. That is the thing. We're going to download the NVIDIA drivers and then we're going to turn off the rig and then we can put in all the 3080s, okay? Almost there, guys, almost there. Oh my God, this is, oh man, this is, <laughs> this chat is going insane. I can't, I can't even read all this, this is too fast, guys. I can't believe there's this many people watching me build a mining rig, this is nuts. I, I can't put on slow mode. This my phone. I don't have any of those settings right now. Oh man, this is too funny. Okay, Windows is still going. So in the meantime, in the meantime, while that's going, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Oh my God! I just, I just broke a riser. I think I broke it. All right, this is. I think I still have an extra, I have a whole bunch more. Okay. Stickers. It's okay, GP risers will send me, GP risers, I need more risers. <laughs> uh. All right, next one. Uh, someone's asking, yeah, yes, this video, trust me, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a video outlining what I did here. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. In this video, you, you will, you will, you will be able to see this live stream. It will be saved. Don't worry. Oh my goodness. Yashnik, I hate you. Yashnik. Ah. Oh. Yashnik, the bane of my existence. I wish I didn't know I had to take off these little plastic things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 1,400 people watching me struggle trying to get the plastic off a fan. God. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing any more. I don't care. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. They're going to stay on there forever. Yashnik, they're going to stay on there forever. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. I think it's done. It's going to be done here in a second. I'm gonna put you guys, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go up into the rig. Now we're gonna install the GPUs. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Ugh. Oh my God, this tripod is so, so rough. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry if it's bumpy. How many GPUs do you have? I have a, I have decent amount, man. Decent amount. Okay. 
Um, the rig, the Windows is still installing, okay? Uh, I got, we gotta wait for that. Then I can net download the NVIDIA driver and turn it off. Mm. Oh my God, I'm, exa I'm already exhausted. I'm already exhausted. Uh, pocket change, did you just ask me a question because I couldn't read it because the chat was going way too fast. So pocket change, I don't know what you said. Red Panda Mining, have you changed the pads on, on these For the Win 3s? No. Why? No. Why, why would I? I? I don't think... I'm pretty sure we don't need to. Um... How many, how many rigs, uh, uh, pocket change, what did you say? How many rigs have you built over the years? Okay, um, <laughs> this chat is going way too fast. Uh, pocket change, I don't even know. Honestly, I have, I, I can't even, I can't even comprehend how many rigs I've built. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say like 30? Like that includes like server cases and stuff, but yeah. Okay, come on, Windows. It's taking forever. God, if we were, yeah, if we were using Linux mining operating system, we'd be done already. Oh, man. I just, I, I'm, re like I said, the reasons why we're using uh, Windows is because we need to see the memory junction temperature of the 3080s, because as we all know, and that I've tested, the 3080s, all right, I have, I have, uh, I have 11 RTX 3080s here. All right, um, they all get different hash rates. These these cards, all of them get different hash rates, and it is so dependent on the on the ambient temperature, uh, the temperature of the cards. All right, the 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 GDDR five, uh, sorry, GDDR six memory is so hot on both sides of the card that the backplate is scorching. Okay, the backplates don't even provide enough cooling anymore. That's how bad the GDDR6 memories are. It's, it's brutal. It's brutal. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right, Windows is done. Hold on, Windows is done. Let me, uh, let me, uh, okay. I hate Edge so much. What? Okay, there we go. Right, we're gonna go to nvidia.com. Okay. Um, we need to install. We need drivers. GeForce drivers. GeForce. We need 30 series. The heck? Where did it go? 3080, Windows 10. Yeah, the RGB fans are nice. I like it. I can change the colors too. Uh, I have to change it on the other side, but. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, some people said the new latest studio driver or game ready driver has issues. Is that right? Do you guys say, is there an issue with, the, with these drivers? We're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna try it anyway. Um, we're gonna get the, uh, let's get the studio, let's get the studio driver. Um, uh, let's see here, yeah, studio driver. Download. Okay. Uh, all right, that's downloading. Should be done soon. And then, and then we're gonna turn off the rig. And then, finally, install the 3080s. 
Okay, driver's done. Driver's, in, driver's downloaded. We're going to shut this thing down now. Shut down. All right. Putting you guys over here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put you guys over here. Okay, um, let me get a new riser since I dropped this one. New, GP risers riser. Oh my God, this card is really heavy. Okay, so next step, putting the riser in like so. We're gonna, whoa, wait a sec. Wait a second. You guys see what I'm seeing here? Is that, is that okay? Is Vistang from GP Risers here? Is that, is that capacitor broken or? Is that okay guys? I just, I just wanna make sure I'm not, uh, Oh man, is that, is that considerably bent? It moves, that moves. Oh man, I'm not, I don't think I can use that. V Vistang, Vistang from GP Risers, are you here? Can I use this man? Don't use it, all right. All right, I'm not using it, I'm trusting you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you guys. I'm trusting you guys. Oh man, I don't want to risk it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. <laughs> you guys are just like, they're fine. They're fine. Okay, is that is, is this one better? Is this one better? I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure this is good. Is this good, guys? You're good to go, all right. Okay, I, I trust, I trust these. Uh, none, of, none of these, none of these caps move, so. Yeah, this one's good, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. All right, we're gonna put this in now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use my whole hand just to push it in. Okay, now there's a trick. There's a trick to these new risers. So since they have this new clip, you actually have to push it in. You, you'll hear a clip, all right? So here you go. Did you guys hear that clip? All right, so it went in a little bit more. You have to push in the back to get it clipped in. So now, now it's good, all right? Um, so, you know what? I'm just gonna put risers on everything here. Actually, no, we're gonna put in the first card. Okay, so, 12 GPU frame. Ah, uh, my God, we're, we're gonna go the second row here, okay? So we're gonna do the first one. Um, like so. I need my screwdriver. And I can't grab my screwdriver while I'm holding this. Ah, there we go. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Okay, I'm gonna unplug the power. Okay. Alright, so that's how I'm gonna have the GPU. Alright, look at that. It's like <laughs> it's Oh 
Oh, there, that's what it looks like. Look how much room. I don't have much room on the back here, but uh, that's how much room is back here. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to do this a few more times here. We're going to do, actually, no, I'm going to start installing the cables. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. USB PCIe, we're going to put that in the motherboard. It's going to put on that very bottom here. Um, I'll just show you guys. So, there. I just, we're going to install the riser on this back part here. PCIe. Alright, now, we're going to put in USB into the bottom of the riser there. Okay? Okay, now, yeah, sorry if I can't, I can't read the chat, so I'm gonna focus on building this now. I have to have my utmost attention to this, so thank you all for being here and watching. Uh, hopefully nothing fails here. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is, there's a, there's a lot of people here. Crazy, you guys are all crazy. Okay. Okay, now, um, turn the PSUs off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good idea, good idea. All right, power supply's off. Gonna drain the power here with the power button. And the network card is now off. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're gonna plug in the PCIe cables. And like I said before, we're going to be doing two strands. Two strands per 3080. Okay. So I got my two strands. I'm going to bring you guys higher. Uh, you know what, I can just, I have so much stuff on this table. I'm so sorry. Oh man, I'm gonna get rid of all this inside. Okay, um, all right, since we're at this stage, in case anybody wants to know what I'm doing here. Okay, that's very, very spaghetti mess here. I'll cable manage it all later. Okay, so we have six strands coming from the 1300 watt power supply. My reasoning, my, the way I'm gonna do it here, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be using two strands, okay, for each 3080. So there's gonna be three RTX 3080s for one 1300 watt power supply. Just giving you guys that information. Now, I unfortunately have to do a split, okay? So, the 3080, the For the Win 3, plus the riser, we need four PCIe uh, cables, uh, ports, okay? And the daisy chain off this is just not long enough to go to the riser, uh, from the GPU into the riser. So, unfortunately, we have to utilize an eight pin to dual eight pin uh, adapter, okay? As, as terrible as that is, but we need to. So uh, my compromise here is I'm not gonna be using the daisy chained part here, okay? So I'm gonna be using this theoretical part, okay? So we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be plugging the, the eight pin adapter on this part 
Uh, let me just get that in first. Wow. Oh, make sure it lines up with the pin at the top. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so, so this, this, this single strand here will go into the top end of the EVGA power supply, uh, and then another end will go into the uh, For the Win 3, and the, this other end is going to go into the riser, okay? And then we are not going to be utilizing this daisy chain, okay? We're essentially changing the daisy chain to the splitter here, okay? So same idea, except we're just not using this part, all right? So hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys think that's wrong, uh, that's the reasons why I'm doing this, doing this way, okay? Um, cable length, it's just, it's just too short, okay? All right. So bring it back to the card. Um, we're going to now do this in a manner of hopefully I can uh, bring this cable up to here. Yeah, okay. We're going to plug in the GPU. So the main 8-pin from what I've tested, oh, the main power um, is going to come from the first port, from what I understand. Now, when I tested the power readings from other ports, um, it usually this first port is where most of the power was drawing from again I don't know if that's true with these 3080s. I I just don't know so But I'm going off that through previous previous experience from the Radeon 7 uh, The RX 580s and the GTX 1080 Ti's uh, Most of the power was coming from the closest PCIe port, but not mining advice All right, not mining advice that's just what I am doing. I have the link in the description. If you guys are looking for the parts that I talked about, um, the splitters are in the link in the description. Okay, so I have one strand going into the GPU, so that's good. Uh, now we still have one more port and the riser needs ports. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing uh, this part. All right, this is going to go right into there. And yes, I got these splitters from Alibaba. Okay. Alibaba, um, I have the exact seller I bought it from. All right. Um, so now I'm going to plug the other six pin into the riser. Okay, like that. Okay, I have the six pin going to the riser. Okay, you guys can see how I have it set up here. Okay, so one strand is going into uh, uh, into the uh, GPU. Actually, 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 I'm going to switch it up here. I'm gonna do it like this. There was a reason why I did this on the other ones as well. Um, OK. 
Okay. There we go. Okay, that's it. That's it. Done. First GPU is in. Oh, I need to plug in the power. My stream's gonna, stream's gonna die. Ugh. Okay. Um, so you know what, guys? I What I wanna do first now is turn it on and make sure Windows can recognize the first GPU. All right, so let's do it. All right, motherboard's on. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if it turns on. Three, two. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have everything in? Triple check, triple check first. Always check, make sure everything's in. I got that in. This is, this is in. That's plugged in. PCIe, the riser's plugged in. Uh, am I missing anything else? Am I missing anything else? Remove Yashnik. I'm keeping the I'm keeping the plastic on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's turn it on. Three, two, one. And so that means it's on. Um, all right, let's see if Windows. Well, you guys are you guys are all hoping for smoke. <laughs> You guys are just like smoke, 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 spark, spark, sparks. Ah, uh, you guys always wish the worst for me. Why? Why? Why is that? Why? Tell me. You guys are all narcissist bastards. Um, oops, we gotta go to system. System. Oh my God, Windows 10 totally changed how to go to. Device manager, my god, I'm just so used to it the other way. Oh, stream is dying. Leg. How about now? How about now? How about now? <laughs> Better pay your internet bill, yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like YouTube is throttling me. I think YouTube is... YouTube is definitely throttling me. Yeah. All right, we're back, we're back. We're back in action. All right, you guys can see the 3080 is showing up. So uh, let me just install the latest driver. Uh, sorry for the stream lag. I, it's not my fault, okay? YouTube is, YouTube is denying us. Installing the NVIDIA driver. Next person to ask me why I'm installing Windows is gonna get banned. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, I'm streaming from my phone, so that's why. <laughs> B Tech.
Okay, install, install. All right, NVIDIA driver is installing. Pocket change, wow. Apparently you have, you have a lot of people that want to be banned. <laughs> Pocket change, thank you, thank you. You noticed. <laughs> Why Windows? <laughs> somebody, please ban. Somebody, please ban Chum Change. Please, somebody. For the love of God, ban that guy. Right now. Ban him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Christ. Oh man, we've totally forgot to go to Nine Night. Uh, Nine Night dot com. I can't even go to N I N I T E dot com. Cannot be reached. Nice. There we go. All right, we're gonna choose Chrome, Firefox. Actually, we don't need Chrome. Ah, Fire, yeah, Chrome is fine. Uh, I don't need VLC. I need uh, 7-Zip and Putty. Where's Classic Start? Give me that Classic Start Putty. There we go. Okay. All right. Nine eight just to I use Internet Explorer Windows Edge just to get okay NVIDIA drivers installed. Uh done. I, I'm pretty sure it's not my internet. It's YouTube. YouTube is throttling my mobile uh mobile stream. It, it it's what they always do. It sucks. Um Okay. Phone is throttled by NVIDIA, yeah. Literally. Okay, uh, guys, I'm going to download... Now we're going to download... Um, oh, what miner are we going to use uh, for this 3080? Um, we're going to use the uh, T-Rex miner. T-Rex, T-Rex, T-Rex. So we're going to use Chrome here. T Rex Miner. Okay, we're going to download the latest CUDA 11.1 Windows. Also, we have to go to Hardware Info. This is the main reason why I am using Windows. This is it. This is the only reason why I'm using Windows. Oh, man, is that the right one? All right, install hardware info. Yeah, hardware info only for the memory temperatures, that's why. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, uh, T Rex is inst uh, downloaded. Let's extract T Rex. Um, extracting. Okay, let's install. Uh, let's open up hardware info. Is hardware info? Uh, what? Hard hardware info didn't install. Okay. Oh, no, it did it. Yeah, hardware info didn't install. Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. Um, we need sensor only. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see if we can see the junction temperature. This is the main reason why. 
This is the main reason why we're using windows, okay? I just want to see if we can see the junction temperature on a single 3080. Hold on one second. I'm going to get my phone close so you guys can see. All right, there it is. The junction, memory junction temperature. Okay, this is the reason why we're installing Windows. This is what I wanted to see on the 3080. Okay, so uh, you guys can see right now, the memory junction temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, 30, 30 degrees, all right? Um, now we are going to ins uh, run Phoenix Miner. Actually, no, we need to install MSI Afterburner. I totally forgot to install Afterburner. Um, hold up, hold up, wait a second. Okay. Uh, I don't like Phoenix Miner. I like T-Rex Miner better. Uh, why don't I have this all in a USB? Because there's always a new version. <laughs> Okay, um, there we go, there we go, next, 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 oh, agree, next. Okay, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna see if MSI Afterburner will see the overclock, uh, uh, the card, I mean. Um, Yeah, the reasons why I'm not using Hive OS is just because I can't see the memory temperatures in Hive OS. Okay. Um, oh my god, I'm not used to this skin. I gotta go back to the old skin. Where's the old skin? Give me the old one. Okay, chump change, <laughs> don't tase it. I will change, I will tase you into oblivion. Okay, um, here we go. RTX 3080, we can see it. We're gonna bring it down to 70 power limit. Uh, I think that's the golden spot. We're gonna do minus 200 core and we're gonna see how much memory should I do on this guy. Um, uh, let me think here. I was only able to do 750 on the other one. Let's do, let's do a thousand on this one. Um, let's do, so that's, yeah, we have to do, I think we got to, let's do 90 fan for now. Uh, for now, I'm going to save that. Um, okay, just let me see if the fan is going. Yeah, the fan is moving, so that's good. Okay, let's start T-Rex Miner. Let's do it. Let's see if this crashes like my other For the Win 3. Oh, man. Okay, let's do eth, uh, Ether Mine. There we go. Moment of truth. And we need to watch the memory temperature. Okay, uh, we need to watch this one right there. All right. Currently, it's at 60 degrees Celsius memory junction temperature. 
Okay. Um, hold on, I just want to make sure the overclocks don't go away here. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. 38 degrees C. Um, 72 degrees, 39 degrees temperature. Okay, so I'm, I'm only going to be worried if the memory temperature goes past 95 to 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, yeah, Techman, Techman, thank you. Techman, the power at the wall now is 38, uh, 38.35. 38.35. Um, Tech man, can you write that down? 3835 watts. Okay, uh, what hash rate are we getting, guys? Oh, my stream just died. Wait, are we back? Are we back? Did I lose you guys? All right, we're back. Okay. Never died. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, it says we're at 78 degrees Celsius memory temperature. That is, that is amazing. Uh, 97.64 mega hash. So, um, I want to get 100 mega hash, guys. Let's get a, let's get 100. Let's go, um, what should we do here? Let's go 72 power limit. I want to see if that changes anything. 72. 72 power limit. Um, 265 watts. Oh man, is that too much? Oh, 80, 80 degrees, 80 degrees Celsius now. Uh, okay. I don't think I need to crank the power. The power might, might seem fine. I, I might be able to lower it actually. 60 power limit. Yeah. Let's, you know what? Let's do Let's do 68. I just want to see what that does. 68. I want to jump the memory up a little bit. Let's do 1100. Let's do 1100. Uh, 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, 258 watts, 97, 80, 97 mega hash. Undervolt the core using uh, 97.99 mega hash, 98.3 mega hash. Okay, we're going up now. Yeah, we're using too much power. I think 258 watts. We should we should be able to do um, 225 watts. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going down here. Uh, let's go 60 let's go 62 i want to see what that does we're going to keep the same memory here just keep everything the same just going to bring down the power limit to 62. i want to i just want i just want to see what happens memory temperature is 80 degrees celsius that is amazing oh that is amazing This, this card, this card does not feel hot at all. That is incredible. This thing is, this thing is amazing. Seriously, seriously amazing. Okay. Oh, that is, that is beauty. That is beautiful. Okay. Um, All right, uh, 78 degrees Celsius. Uh, looks like we've uh, gone down on memory te memory temperature now. Um, okay, mega hash number though. I think we are okay. 235 watts. Yes, 200 235 watts. Um, 98.68 mega hash. Okay, so looks like we can probably go down more. All right, let's do 60 power limit. Um, some of you guys said to do five, uh, negative 400 core. 
All right, let's do minus 400 core. And you guys said 1250 on the mem. 1250, 1250. All right, we're gonna change a lot of things here. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's look at the temperatures. I bet the memory temperature is gonna go up. Right now it's at 78. All right, we're climbing, 98.95, almost 99 mega hash. Wait for it. 41 degrees Celsius, 78 on the memory temperature. That is, that is amazing. That is amazing. 99.25 mega hash. 99.47 mega hash. Oh man, we're almost at a hundred. So we are doing this on 60 power limit. Um, so the power consumption of the software says 227 watts. 227 watts, 99.8 mega hash. 60 power limit, minus 400 core, 12, plus 1250 on the memory. That's pretty good. That's really good. So I bet if I bump it up to, oh man, I, let me think here, 1300 memory? Ah, 1300. We should get a hundred mega hash. I think if I bump it up to 1300, we're gonna get, we're gonna get 13, uh, 100 mega hash. Uh, but the memory temperature should theoretically go higher Oh, it's still at 78 degrees. Memory junction temperature, only 78. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, once I put in all the other cards, I bet you the memory junction temperature is going to go a lot higher. Generally. But I do have a, a lot of spacing. There we go. We got, we got 100 mega hash. 100 mega hash, 227 watts. There we go. This card is baller. This card is good. At these settings, 60 power limit, minus 400, plus 1300 memory. Now, I want to try what 58, 58 power limit. I wanted, I'm going to go down another two. I just want to see what that does. Okay, so we're at 100 mega hash, uh, 60 power limit. Let's do 58. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it crashes. So we're at, we were at 227 watts. I wonder if it'll go down to like 225. 224. Uh, yeah, I've always done minus 200 core. I, I've never, I never do minus 400. Um, uh, Ian, Ian, the official number I've seen out there is, is, is maximum 95 Celsius. You don't want to run your GPUs higher than 95 memory. 95 Celsius. Okay. Um, there you go. 200 and 220 watts. So we knocked off seven watts, but we've also knocked off 0.5 of a mega hash. <laughs> 0 0.5. Point, 0 0.6 now. 0 0.6 of a mega hash. We've, we've dropped down just a bit. Temperatures are the same. Temperatures haven't gone up or down. That is crazy. 78C. Yeah, you, you know what? I'll probably... I'm going to take this golden card. I, ha I still have to do the... Oh, no. The mega hash number is 98 now. Yeah, 98.4 mega hash. So we've definitely dropped a lot going to 58 power limit. So we're going to go back to 60 power limit. I, I like that number. Um, okay, you guys said to try... You guys said to try minus 502 on the core. Plus 1300 memory. All right, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Minus 502 core, plus 1300, 60 power limit. All right, let's 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 see what it does. Let's see what it does. Two hundred and twenty seven watts. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do something here. I'm going to restart uh, T-Rex Miner. We're going to start from brand new. All right. 
I just want to I just want to start restart the software <laughs> yeah epic sarcasm stay away from the gigabyte cards the gigabyte cards are no good <laughs> okay um guys i'm gonna let this load i just need to grab a water i've been streaming now for two hours and 11 minutes and i need to take a bathroom break i will be right back <laughs> you guys watch the hash rate for me Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm back, guys. What are we seeing right now? What are we getting? 99.25 mega hash, 227 watts, uh, 78 degrees Celsius junction temperature. So that's good. It's under 95. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I don't think the core, minus 502 core did not work. So I'm going to go to minus 400 again. I want to see if that brings it back up just a little bit. <clears throat> um, um, yeah, Ian, my, my, uh, hold on. Eighty four degrees Fahrenheit, thirty one degrees Celsius. That's that's the temperature in this place right now. <clears throat> okay, so I boosted the core. I boosted the core, and now we are back up a hundred mega hash. There you go. There you go. I just. From 502 core to 400, we are now back up to 100 mega hash. So it looks like a little bit of core does matter on this card, all right? So for some people doing minus 502, I don't recommend it. 
Um, I I always go, I always do minus two hundred. Just I, I do that on all of my Nvidia cards. Um, I I've just had I've just had better luck doing minus two hundred. I've always kept it like that. So. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see much of a. We're not going to see any. There's no power difference from uh, minus 400, minus 200. Uh, so let's see what the mega hash is now, and let's look at the temperatures. 78 degrees Celsius memory junction. Just amazing. Yeah, this card is. This card is really cool. It's it's cool as a. I could probably drop down the. Uh, the fan speed's at 90. We could probably go to 60. I want to see what 60 fan does. Let's go 60 fan. I bet, though, once we add all the other six cards, it's going to... Uh, it's it's going to get hot. It's going to get hot after I put in six cards, I bet. Um, yeah, we're, we're at 100 and 167 mega hash at 227 watts. Um, at the wall, at the wall for the whole, uh, let's see, 37, 90, 30. Is Tech Man, is Tech Man here? Uh, wh whoever helped me record the numbers, uh, we are at 37.92 uh, watts. 37.92 watts at the wall for the whole everything. All of my GPUs. Can you, can you guys do the math? What's the math there? What's the delta? Max voltage, 257 watts for the total. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so another 25 watts is the, uh, is the motherboard, uh, CPU, all that stuff. Um, i bring you guys over. 37, 91, 90, 90, it's going all over the place, but yeah, 37, 92. Um, Swamp 7, 263 watts, okay, nice. That's awesome, awesome, 257 watts for this whole rig. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Man, these different LED lights really bug me. Um, hold on, I need to change this side. Uh, how do I sync it? I can't sync the lights. <laughs> All right, then I'll have to figure out another time. Okay, um, guys, are we happy? Are we happy with that? Are you guys, are we happy with that? Are we going to add in more cards now? Is that it? Is that it, guys? Is that it? Okay. All right. Shutting her down. Here we go. We're going to start adding more cards. We're good. We're good. I think we're good. Uh, we're going to save these settings. You guys, help me remind, remind me. 60 power limit, minus 200 core, plus 1300 memory. All right. We're going we're gonna to save this on the MSI Afterburner so I don't have to come back. Uh, save that. Okay. All right, we're good. We're going to make sure to open that in Windows. Um, start with Windows. Sure. Okay. Actually, no. We're not going to start with Windows yet because we need to install the other cards first. It'll screw up the profiles if we do that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, we're good, guys. We're good. We're good. Let's, let's uh, shut her down. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, one by one. I know it's gonna take me longer, but I just wanna I just wanna triple check to make sure all the GPUs that I add here is gonna work. <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, unleashed overclocking. I'm sad you didn't push the mem further. Uh, to be honest, I, I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to run these cards too high, right? I, I just don't want to run them too high. I, I have the similar thought 
with my other 3080s because the memory junction temperature on those ones are way higher. They're way higher than probably probably these. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put in the other 3080 here. All right, let me just get my tripod up here. They are designed to get hot. I don't know about that, man. I mean, I know, but not to like 24 seven kind of uh, operation, but. Okay, uh, I will, uh, this rig is gonna go on Hive OS later. Uh, like I said, the reasons why I'm using Windows again is because I need to use hardware info 64 to figure out the memory temperatures. All right, that's it. That is it. Okay. All right, I need to get a riser. And I need you guys to help me verify. Is this riser good? Are we good on this riser? There's a, this one's a little bit bent. Like just that, yeah, this one's a little bit bent. Um, do I trust it? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't move, so I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think it's okay. I'm, I'm going to trust it. I'm going to trust it. Click. Didn't click. Ah, I clicked in. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, uh, next 3080 is gonna go right through here. This, this is really heavy, these are really heavy. Oh man. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, so that is in. Um, someone just uh, tains deal with bent caps all the time as long as the solder connections are good then it doesn't matter if it's bent or not okay that's good to know that's good to know yeah because with risers you know <laughs> you just never know right you just never know sometimes any little thing can really uh they can make them terrible okay so i'm grabbing another two strands all right so uh let's just grab these two Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab these two. Okay, and I need to fish them underneath the rig here somehow. Plugging in the PCIe, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, max voltage. Max voltage. In order to keep the runs as short as possible, run the middle one from the other power supply. Oh, good call, man. Okay. I didn't think of that. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so. So my strands here, I need to... I need to save this strand for a, a 3080 at the top uh, on this side because this will definitely uh, barely make it to the top here. Um, now, uh, oh man, oh man, how am I going to do this? Oh yeah, that's a good call, Max Voltage. Huh, let me think here. Let me think here. Oh, yeah, that's a good call. Okay. Uh, this is why Max Voltage. Max Voltage, man, you really, you really saved me some time here. Okay, so, yes, this strand here, I am going to leave for the top one here. And this strand I'm going to leave for the middle top one because this power supply on this side, the PCIe are at the top, but the PCIe on that power supply is at the bottom. So, oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Turn off the power supplies. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, max voltage, thank you so much for reminding me. Man, see, this is why we do this live, because there are so many little tiny things. So many little tiny, tiny things. Okay, um, okay, so I'm going to move, you know what, I'm, not, I'm just going to keep that, I'm just, I'm just going to keep this 3080 here. Uh, we are going to add another 3080, you know what, let's add two more at the top. We're going to add two more at the top. We're going to utilize the strands uh, from this power supply on the two top here. Okay, so let's do that now. Let's do that now. Max voltage. Max voltage for the win. Oh my god, such a good reminder. Man, thank you, man. You saved my life. Uh, and yeah, I think these should be long enough for the middle one. So I'm going to keep this here for the middle top one. And then this strand is going to go for the top, top, the top one. Uh, for over, uh, wait, how do I? I need to fish these cables along this way. Max voltage, man. The savior. Um, let's see here. We're gonna move this up to here. Okay, this cable's gonna go through here. Okay, all right, so this should be enough length for the 3080 at the top. And the other one is, this is for the middle 3080. I hope this is long enough. Yeah, this should be long enough because I have to use the splitter on the other end. Okay, all right, now. Oh. Riser check, riser check, riser check. Uh, this one looks good. Uh, let's see here. This one's this one's a little bit bent, but it's stuck there. It's good. This one's good. This one's good too, I think. Yeah, this one looks this one looks generally generally good. I don't think there's any issue with this. Okay. All right, thirty eighty. Plugging it in. Uh, let's do the middle one. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna plug in two this time. Let's plug in two.
Okay. Um, okay, wow, look at the, holy crap, this is like, look at, look at the, <laughs> the fans are, oh man, can I move this up? Uh, I can't move, wait a sec, yeah, this, this, these fans are not going to hit this, are not going to hit the card at all. Um, uh, interesting interesting there's no way to move this bracket up here eh um huh or did i have wait did i have the bar up too high on this side uh, this one only has two this this frame only has two screws on that side as well so um hmm Interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is the AAA wave design. I guess, yeah, it looks like um, they designed it so that the notch here was for the fan uh, here. I, honest, yeah. Max Voltage says, I think the air fault will still be fine. I agree, I agree. I think it should be good. Should be good, should be good. Okay, um, so here's the two strands. Uh, let's see, which one's the longest strand here that I have? Uh, this one. Okay, so we're gonna plug in this one onto here. Oh! Uh. Okay, it's in, it's in, next one, uh, we're going to put it over here, I'm going to like, kind of like spread it out, okay, now, uh, now, unfortunately, unfortunately, we have to use a splitter, because the daisy chain on this one is not long enough to go into the riser. I, I wish it was long enough. You guys can see my dilemma. You see that? So I have to use this 8-pin splitter um, uh, on this end. Okay. And then uh, this is going to go... Uh, into here. Okay. Nice and flush. Nice and flush. Now, this other one will go into the riser. top. So we're going to go like so, like this. Okay. Make sure it's in. Make sure all of these connections are in. Triple check. Okay. There we're good. There we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going to have to do cable management after. Um, but that is good for now. You know what? I can actually just, I can, I, I can see a little Cable management right here, right now. Okay. Uh. All right. Here we go. All right, now, next part, next situation here is, um, let me see here, we have to plug in the USB. Uh, let's see, here. we're gonna here, and uh, there we go. There we 
go. Okay, now let's just see if this hopefully is long enough to go down to here. Should be, technically. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, there we go. The riser is in. USB is in. Okay, you guys can see there, there. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's, let's, let's turn it on. Let's make sure it works. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, this is all plugged in and this is screwed in. And that is in, okay. We're just gonna do two GPUs for now. Two GPUs. Let's do it. Uh, triple check that's in, triple check it's on the motherboard, okay. And I don't have that third for the win three in yet, uh, but that's okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. Uh, why are you splitting, why are you splitting connector in the middle of the GPU connector? Okay, um, my thought process is because on other GPUs I've tested before, most of the power is coming from the first PCIe that's closest to inward, inward of the GPU, this PCIe here. Um, the other PCIe that I've tested on other GPUs take less power. Now, I don't know if that is the same idea on the 3080. I'm just... I'm just guessing. So that's why I've split it off into the second one. Uh, the main power is coming from the first and third ports here, and then the riser and that. I mean, yeah, 225 watts. We, we have plenty of, plenty of power. Plenty, plenty of power here. Um, okay. All right, so uh, let's just see if Windows can see both, just to make sure. Uh, let me bring in the phone holder. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's open up device manager first. Device manager. And yeah, we have two 3080s. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let's do it. Let's open up MSI Afterburner. Let's put in the overclocks and uh, uh, let's select the GPU. Yeah, okay, yeah, it shows up, perfect. Okay, now uh, let's see, my save profile did not save, so that sucks. Uh, what was the, what was our overclock settings again? 60, 60 power limit, minus 200. And 12, uh, 1300, right? 1300. Uh, we did. Let's do. Let's do 60% fan because uh, we knew we know that these cards are really cool already. Um, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's open it up. Let's do it. T-Rex miner. Uh, Ether mine. Okay. And we have to open up hardware info. Oh, I forgot hardware info. This is the reason why we installed Windows just for this just for this okay all right yeah two 3080s showing up there okay uh hardware info uh now this is the crappy part i'm, I'm i can't we can't see both at the same time uh gpu one 74 okay it's, it's gonna rise so it's gonna take a bit GP2 junction temperature 74 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. 201 mega hash. Nice. Uh, 
uh, we are at what junction temperature are we at here? Uh, camera does not want to focus. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Oh, man, camera's not focusing. All right, okay. All right, junction temperature, 84 degrees Celsius. Uh, the other card is 86 degrees Celsius. Okay, so look at that. Um, temperature is rising, 49 degrees Celsius, and 49 on the other card as well, 86 degrees junction temperature. So look at that. We just added another card, but we also did 60% fan. So uh, I bet if I put, the, put this up to 80, we're gonna drop it down. Let's do 80. Let's do 80 fan. And it should already change on the other GPU. Yeah. But 227 watts, 100 and 100.79 mega 100.7 mega hash. That is that is awesome. That is awesome. So far, two two for zero. 84 degrees junction temperature. Um, it's, it's dropping now since we did 80% fan, 84 degrees Celsius. Uh, the reasons why we're not using HiveOS at the moment, I will use HiveOS later, is because HiveOS doesn't show the memory junction temperature. All right, for people wondering why I'm not using HiveOS yet, is because HiveOS does not show the memory junction temperature. Please, guys, please understand why I'm using Windows for the love of God for the love of God I can't answer that question one more time I'll go crazy <laughs> okay uh, okay we did 80% fan and now the memory junction temperature dropped to 82 so from 86 to 82 this is Way better, way better. 80 degrees Celsius now, junction temperature. Um, okay, we're good. I think we're good. Two for two. Two for two. We're good. 201 mega hash for both of these 3080s combined. That's, that is, that is amazing. Uh, wait, at the power at the wall. Let me get the, let's get the wall number here. One sec, one sec. Uh, is Techman here? Is anyone here? Who, who recorded the power number? Uh, does anyone have the previous power number? I totally forgot what we were at before. Three seven nine two. Okay, so three seven nine two. Where we are out? We are now at four zero fifty seven. Four zero fifty eight. So how? What's the delta? What's the delta right now? Thirty five forty. So five hundred and twenty five watts. Nice. For two hundred mega hash, that's that's pretty good. That's really good. It was about thirty six five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Um, man, this rig looks good. Look at this. It's, 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 it looks, it's getting there. All right, let's add another 3080. Uh, let's, let's add another 3080. Let's do it. So far, so good. We are, we are doing good. We are doing really good. 201 mega hash. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys for recording the number there. All right. Uh, did you guys record that other number? 4,000. Uh, 55, 4,000, uh, 4,058. Okay. Someone record that 4,058. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna need these numbers later. If you guys can, if you guys, I need to record a video. I need to record a video later on, um, just so I can get some numbers. So, uh, Tech Man, I'll get, I'll get that from you later, Tech Man. Thanks so much, man. Okay, we're Gucci. We're good. We're good. Let's shut this down. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it. Uh, I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this cool down for a bit. Tech Man, thank you so much. Uh, okay. All right, we're going to add the other 3080 uh, right here, right on top here, all right? Um, I just realized that uh, I haven't plugged in the middle one there, but we're going to do that on the other power supply, and hopefully I have enough hands to get down there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, I think that's good. I think it's cooled down, I think it's cooled down enough. Uh, let's shut this down. Oh guys, I'm getting exhausted. I'm I'm getting tired, guys. But I'm here for the long haul. I'm here for the long haul. We're gonna keep going here. We're gonna keep going here. All right, it's shut down. Um, okay. Uh, all right, turn off the power supplies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Power supplies switched off. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Riser check. Riser check. Is this one good? Uh... This is good. This is good. I think this is good. Um, max voltage. He asked a question. Red pen and my win. Will you have to offset just to avoid the PCIe cables on the lower cards? Will you have to offset just to avoid the PCIe cables on the lower cards? Max voltage, I don't know what that means, but I should be, uh, the links are, the links should be, should be good. The, the cable link should be good. Um, I guess by the time we get there, uh, we'll figure that out if it, if it wasn't. Don't worry, you'll figure it out as if it's a problem. Tech man created a new pin super mod. Okay, awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have the best mods in the world. Okay, uh, let's put this in. man we're good we're good okay plenty of clearance yes a lot of clearance look at the look at the clearance on this thing it's like an inch I think that's an inch here I don't know if that's an inch or not. Um, yeah, well, look at the space in between the GPUs, right? And then I'll, I'll have another space for uh, the, uh, another 3080 on that side, right? Uh, I should really work on the bottom first. Um, hopefully I can access that bottom part for the other bottom one there. Uh, should be okay. All right, should be okay, all right. Let's do the power cabling. Uh, we're going to use this one. Okay. Uh, some of you guys had worry about the PCIe gauge. 
Uh, these cables are 16 gauge, so this strand can do up to 300 watts, probably a lot more. Uh, these are Seasonic, Seasonic cables, so I trust they can go a, lot, a little bit higher than 300 watts. So these two strands, these two PCIe strands can do 600 watts combined. Uh, according to all the power sources I read online. That in? Okay, uh, and then this one was going to go into the riser. Somebody just donated. I saw it on the tip of my screen. Seasonic gives me hope for the future of humanity. Seasonic is usually pretty good. I haven't had any issues with Seasonic. I think Seasonic and FSP is the same company, and FSP back in the day made amazing, amazing power supplies. Uh, okay, all right. I'm gonna try to cable manage just a little bit here. Like I said, just doing this very methodically. I don't wanna ruin anything. Okay. Okay. All right, we're good. All right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do three. Oh, I forgot to plug in the USB. Yashnik, I'm gonna ban you. Someone, someone ban Yashnik right now. Right meow. Okay, uh, let's do it. Let's turn it on. All right, USB is in, PCIe is in. Uh, I think everything else looks good. Triple check the connectors. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, let's do three. Three EVGA for the wins. Let's do it. All right, power's on. All right, that's ready. Let's get ready for the smoke. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh man, these cards are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Okay, looks good. All right, let's see if it uh, boots in the windows just fine. And looking good so far. Looking good so far, guys. Let me know. Rainbow puke. Yeah, rainbow puke. Oh, man. Okay. All right, back to the monitor.
We're going to go uh, device manager. All right, did we see 33080s? Uh, yes, 33080s. We're good, we're good. All right, now, MSI Afterburner, and let's get it mining. Um, okay, okay. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, it's not showing up here. It's not, it's not showing up. We have our first issue. I think we have our first issue. Or it's just installing the card. It hasn't installed the profile yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was just installing. Okay. All right. 33080s show up in the profile MSI Afterburner. Okay. Um, wow, this monitor. My phone does not focus at all. Just amazing. Okay. All right. So we're going to do what again? 60 power limit. 60 power limit. We're going to do minus 200. Minus 200 core, we're going to do 1300, uh, 1300 on the memory, and we're going to do 80, I think 80 fan is, oh, man, this mouse sucks, this mouse sucks, 1300 and 80 on the power limit, all right, fan, I mean, okay, settings applied on all of them, yep, okay, let's start T-Rex Miner. Let's see if we got another silicon lottery winner. Please. Please be 100 mega hash, please. Uh, let's start hardware info. We need hardware info. H info 64. Okay. Run sensors only. All right. Okay. Uh, there we go. Let's just get this going and see what we got here. GPU one. Oh, we got an issue. What did that issue say here? Uh, we got an issue. What did that say? What did that say up here? Is it because we're connecting to EU? Oh no. Oh no, we got a bad card. Yeah, we have a bad card. Oh no, this is exactly what happened on my other For the Win 3. Oh no. Guys, don't tell me we have a lemon. Okay. Ah, oh, the third one, no. Oh no. <laughs> No, this ex this exact same thing happened. Oh, okay. I can't run. Uh, I don't think we can run thirteen hundred memory. No, I don't think it's the riser. We okay. I I know exact. I think I know what's. I know what's happening. This exact same thing happened on my other one. <sighs> okay. Uh, I I I I'm gonna I'm gonna let this rig restart. I'm gonna let this rig restart. I have. A feeling it's the exact same situation I have on that one. It's the exact same situation. Um, the, mem the, the memory, I can only go up to like 1500 on that one or uh, 700 in Windows. <laughs> if this one only lets me go 700 in Windows, oh man, that's going to suck. That's going to suck. I have one bad top that goes up to 900 max in Windows. Yeah, the, the other one, the other 3080, I can only go up to 700. 700 in Windows. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. No, they're all the same memory. They're all the same Micron. Uh, they're all the same Micron memory. It's just, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So let's, let's go here. Um, 
Okay, I don't know which one it's gonna be in Windows here, but oh uh, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's the third one. Um, Tanuka Games, thanks for the donation. And no, I have not done testing on other miners. Um, let me just let me do one thing here. Let's just do let's just do uh, sixty. Hey, you know what? I gotta do this. Hold on one sec. We gotta synchronize, unsync the GPUs. Um, so. Uh, let's see here. I need to figure out which one it is. So I'm just going to do 100 fan on one of them and just see if it's that one. Okay, the third one, the third one is the bottom GPU. So uh, let's do that one back to auto. Okay, um, let's do this one, a uh, hundred. Yeah, okay, I found it. All right, I found it. GPU two, uh, GPU two is that, is the second one in MSI Afterburner. So we're gonna go, um, yeah, 60 power limit. We're gonna go minus 200 core and we're gonna do 700 memory. 700 let's just do 700 and we can slowly creep it up from there let's just do 80 fan on that okay the other two we will do what we did before because we know we know those two worked so minus 200 and 1300 we can do 1300 memory on those uh 80 percent fan and can i save this profile uh, yeah Oh, no, that didn't save. Okay, so 60, 60, minus 200, and 1,380. Uh, 80. Okay. All right. Let's do it again and see if my theory is right that that 3080 is just borked. Let's do two miners this time. Oh man, so disappointed. It yeah, it could be the riser. I mean, it could it could be a riser, uh, but we will see. Yeah, I checked all the cables. It all looks pretty standard. Uh, the bio switch is in the normal position. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no error now. Um, now we will test something. We will test. I, I already tested this on my other For the Win 3 that had the error. So if I raise the, pow, uh, the memory, it should give me an error. So yeah, silicon lottery. I bet you anything it's the silicon, something... Yeah, so see, 94 mega hash. 94 mega hash on that one. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, okay, so let's let's boost up the memory and see if it'll crash all right so let's go 750 all right so we're just gonna we're gonna bump it up by 50 memory here all right here we go oh please don't crash it, it's probably gonna crash well, well we'll keep going up until it crashes because I don't know if um, yeah, because again, some some other GPUs can't go past some memory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I 
and I've, again, yeah, I've tried adding more more power, and same thing. It it'll just it'll just it'll just uh, stop working. So, uh, Yashnik, yes, I I know that Bitsby Trippin is gonna start in an hour. Um, I yeah. <laughs> I looks like I'll have to come back to this. Um, let's see, I'm waiting for it to crash. Yeah, I can start another stream for uh, BBT's uh, thing as well. Okay, so 95.10 mega hash. All right, it hasn't crashed. It has not crashed. Okay, let's do 800. Let's do 800. Oh, all right, 800. Please don't crash. 800 memory. <laughs> Open hardware info. Yes, I will. That is a good idea. Okay, memory junction temperature. GPU 1 is 82 degrees Celsius on the memory. Um, next GPU is 82 degrees Celsius on the memory. The third GPU is also, uh, no, 80 degrees Celsius on the memory. So, we are still under the 95 mega hash. All right, theoretical, theoretical nine, uh, a 95 Celsius, so we're good. Um, okay, we're gonna keep going up here, guys. Let's do, let's do, uh, oh, Nem, Nem, you said something, Nem. I get 900 on my mem in Windows, okay. Let's do 900, let's do 900. Ugh. All right, let's see if it crashes. Let's see if it crashes. Yeah, my other my other for the win three, I can't go past 700, 750. It just borks. And I've tried BIOS modding it and everything. It just dies. It sucks. But these two other 3080s, I can go I can go 1300 on the memory. It's insane. These other ones are amazing. Again, I still have three more to plug in, but oh man, I'm not looking forward to that actually. Uh, guys, yeah, 96.44 mega hash. Okay, it's at 900. It didn't crash. Um, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close T-Rex Miner. I'm gonna open it again here. Just to, just I just want to I just want to see if it uh, if it works. And thank you all for being here. I don't know why you guys are watching me, but I'm I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm pooped. Uh, Trump change. Later, man. I'm gonna get ready for my stream. Have a good luck, oh, dude. What are you streaming? I, I'm gonna come over there right now. What I'm I'm think I'm I'm think I think I'm done here. Crypto Nuffy Crypto Nuffy, what are you doing here? Mephisto Night, I'm watching out of pure jealousy. <laughs> oh man. I I wouldn't be jealous, man. This is not This is a lot of work. Yeah, I I think I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a part two for sure. Oh, getting getting stuck at this one card that can't go past a certain number of memory. Kind of okay. Ninety six point six four mega hash on the second card there. That's uh, okay. You know what, we're gonna let's do nine fifty. Nine fifty memory. Here we go. Oh, will it crash?
Chump Change, have a good one, man. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. I'll come, I'll, I'll come to you soon, all right? I'll come to you soon. Everyone, go, go to Chump Change's stream. Um, okay. It looks like... It looks like it's okay. 950 memory. All right, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's do a thousand. I don't know why it crashed on the other time. Okay, a thousand memory. Here we go. A thousand memory. We should get 97, 98 mega hash. Yeah, 97.99 mega hash. All the cables are plugged in. Everything's plugged in. <laughs> Yashnik, remove all the plastic. I re Damn it, Yashnik. Uh, red pen of mining, maybe it was the other card initiating, still detecting other card. Yeah, it could be. It could be. I did I, I did wait for it to come up. Um, but let's let's keep going up here. Let's do uh let's do eleven hundred memory then. Eleven hundred. Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, the thing is, actually, that middle card um, uh, Ken Mahoen, dude, spend time with your family and do part two. I will, I will, I will, for sure, I will. Uh, an another 10 more minutes here, guys. We're gonna be done the stream. Um, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go do dinner now uh, in about 10 minutes, okay? So, um, maybe I'll come on I can come on tonight. I really want to. I really want to really get this working. Okay, so ninety-eight point three eight mega hash. What the heck? Why did it crash before? All right, we're gonna do thirteen. Let's do twelve hundred. Let's do twelve hundred memory. Let's press OK, and you know what? I'm gonna let's restart the. Let's restart it. Let's restart the T-Rex. Okay, so twelve hundred memory. Let's do it. Ugh. Um, I want to see more on a Z490P motherboard. Dude, I, I have the same motherboard on my 6x uh, Asus Tough 3080 rig. The board, the board works for more than four, for sure. Um, oh man, oh my back. I don't want to leave until I see smoke. <laughs> Well, part two, part two, guys, part two. There might be smoke, all right? Pronounce McMahon. Mick, McMahon. Oh, Ken McMahon. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm terrible at pronunciating names. <laughs> okay. Um, 300 mega hash. Okay, it's working now. 98.57 mega... Wait, 98.57? Uh, okay, so let's do three. Let's do thirteen hundred then. There we go. Thirteen hundred mega ash from twelve hundred. Let's see if it bricks or uh, freezes. So far, so good. Oh, see, look, look. I went to 1300 mega hash and it crashed. Stop code, um, page fault. Look at that. Look, <laughs> there, I can't, I can't do 1300 memory. I can't do 1300 memory on that, on that GPU. See, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's the memory, that's the memory fault on the, uh, on that 3080 on this on this one right here that i just put in this one this is a troubled one right here i can't go 1300 you got you guys saw what happened you guys just saw that that's 100 that's 100 silicon lottery 
uh, a silicon lottery issue. Oh man, that's that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay. All right. I, let's let's try it again. Let's go back. Let's do uh, twelve ninety nine. <laughs> Let's do uh, 60, let's do 1250. Let's do 1250, how about that? 12, 1250 on that one, all right? On that troubled guy. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Uh, the other two will be Minus 200, oh, 1300. I don't know why these profiles didn't save. Okay, let's do it again. So we're gonna do 1250 on that troubled GPU. Uh, yes, I have the page file increased to 60 gigabytes. I have 60 gigabyte page file. <laughs> yeah, have a good night, you guys. Yeah, I don't expect everyone to stay here. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out here in a sec. We're gonna I'm, we're gonna come back to a part two live stream. Okay. Um, let's just see if this works. Let's just see if this works at 12:50. What memory junction temperature? Oh yeah, junction temperature, it's it's good. It's like 80, it's like 80 something. They're all like 80 to 84 degrees Celsius. So they're all pretty good. Uh, the three on here so far. Uh, 78 degrees, it's, it's gonna ramp up. It's gonna go to like 80 to 82 on the memory junction, but it's below 95, that's all I care about. Um, yeah, look at that, 1250 on the memory. I can only get 98.66 mega hash on that For The Win 3. <laughs> okay, you guys wanted me to try 1299? <laughs> All right, 1299. All right, let's do it. Let's see, it's gonna, it's gonna blue screen now. Watch it blue screen. Twelve ninety nine will crash. Yeah, I I I believe twelve ninety nine will crash for sure. Yeah, there you go, blue screen. Memory, this is definitely a uh, page fault and non paged area. I think that's a. Yeah. I can't do twelve ninety nine. <laughs> twelve ninety nine doesn't work. Yeah, it's yeah. Guys, okay, that's it. I'm going to leave it. Oh, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to call it a day. We've been streaming for three hours and 30 minutes. I'm spent. I'm spent, guys. Okay, I will have a part two, guys. I, I think I'm going to come back tonight um, after dinner and spend time with the kid and uh, do all the errands and stuff, okay? So um, uh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next part. Uh, Z's are mad. Thank you for the donation. Get a beer on me. Hey, thank you so much, man. Yashnik, I hate you. <laughs> Yashnik, I hate you so much. Crypto Shaped, appreciate you, man. I hate <laughs> Crypto Shaped. I'm going to ban you. All right, guys. Have a good one. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a run around one, one last time on this rig. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we need to put in three more uh, troubled one. This is trouble, this, this card is trouble. 
Maybe I can change the riser. Maybe I'll change the riser. Maybe, maybe a riser change will work. Who knows? Okay, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. All right? Go, go have dinner. Go have lunch. Go have breakfast, wherever you guys are watching. All right. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Peace out. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Have a good one. Learning, learning a lot. Awesome. That's, that's all I want. I want people to learn. I appreciate you all. Peace out, guys. That's a good idea. I will update the BIOS. That's a good idea. All right, guys. Peace out. Peace out. Have a good one. Have a good one. I'll stream later tonight. All right? I'll stream later tonight. Stay subscribed. Hit the notification bell. All right? I'll see you guys later tonight. All right? Peace out. Peace out.